A lorry driver has been charged with killing 39 migrants who were found dead in a trailer in Essex. Morris Robinson, 25, is due to appear at Chelmsford Magistrates Court on Monday. He is charged with 39 counts of manslaughter, conspiracy to traffic people, conspiracy to assist unlawful immigration and money laundering. Robinson, who is known as Mo and is from Northern Ireland, was arrested shortly after the bodies of eight women and 31 men were found in the refrigerated trailer in an industrial park in Greys in the early hours of Wednesday. The charges came after a man wanted by Essex police as part of the investigation was arrested at Dublin Port on Saturday. Gardy said the man, who is in his early twenties and from Northern Ireland, was held over an unrelated outstanding court order and will appear in court on Saturday afternoon. He is understood to be sought by Essex police as part of their investigation, and the force confirmed officers are in touch with Irish police. Three other people arrested over the deaths, including a 48-year-old man from Northern Ireland who was detained at Stansted Airport on Friday on suspicion of conspiracy to traffic people and manslaughter, remain in custody. Officers had earlier arrested a couple, named locally as haulage boss Thomas Marr and his wife Joanna, both 38, of Warrington, on suspicion of 39 counts of manslaughter and people trafficking. In Belgium, police are hunting the driver who delivered the trailer to Zeebrugge, the port it left before arriving in the UK. It comes after the Vietnamese ambassador to the UK met with detectives as they worked to identify the bodies. Essex police initially believed the victims were Chinese nationals. Detective Chief Inspector Martin Passmore told reporters on Saturday the nationality of the victims is not yet known, but the focus is now on the Vietnamese community, although there may be other nationalities involved. He said he had met with Vietnamese Ambassador Tran Nguyen, who had visited the Civic Center in Grays to pay tribute to the victims. DCI Passmore said there were very, very few identity documents recovered and that police will share fingerprints with Vietnamese authorities in a bid to identify the bodies. All of the bodies have now been moved from the truck in Tilbury Docks to Broomfield Hospital in Chelmsford, for post-mortem examinations to be carried out. Commenting on reports the lorry could have been part of a convoy of three carrying around 100 people, Mr. Passmore said investigators remain open-minded. There are lines of inquiry that are set of course to establish whether or not there are wider conspiracies involved in this and the lines of inquiry are set to identify the wider conspiracy, but I can say no more than that, he said. The BBC said it has been in contact with six vifa more on this story, visit the news article link.